Welcome to the Flight of the Past podcast, the programme where we talk to the pilots, the ground exhibitors and members of the local community about the Oxfordshire Family Fun Day. This programme is a Focus Biz podcast on behalf of Flight of the Past Limited, introduced by Adrian Moss. Air Transport Auxiliary was formed to deliver aircraft in the UK, releasing RAF pilots for combat. It began with 30 volunteer pilots, or men. In November 1939, women pilots were included, but restricted to single-engine, non-combat aircraft. When that restriction was lifted, women flew Spitfires, Hurricanes, and eventually four-engine bombers like the Lancaster. Joy Lofthouse joined in 1943. Did you collect the aircraft from the factories or were they from ferried from airfield to airfield? Mostly we took them from the factory straight to the MU, main right. unit, so where they had the, uh, the, the, the gunnery and the uh, uh, radios fitted. So these were unarmed aircraft basically? Oh yes, yes. and then, then we would sometimes take them onto the squadrons or the squadrons would pick them up. But we did every kind of ferrying that was non-operational to save the Air Force. I remember once I picked up a a proctor with a, a, a sort of a almost nude lady on the side and it, it took it into a, an American station and it was the station commander's private aeroplane. So any, you, you didn't know really what you were flying. They weren't always uh, uh, operational aircraft. You just flew something non-operational to save the Air Force. From. But I was completely different to my stories, completely different to Molly's because uh, I'd never been in an aeroplane when I joined. I was 16 and a half when war broke out. Didn't even drive a car. And of course, if you didn't drive a car when war broke out, there was really no petrol to, to learn. They brought every gallon of petrol across the Atlantic in those dreadful convoys. So, uh, but the, where I lived in the Cotswold, we were surrounded by airfields, training airfields. A lot of my first boyfriends were Air Force, which gave me an interest in flying. And in the uh, summer of 43, I saw uh, a news item in the aeroplane magazine to say that ATA had used up all their qualified pilots and were training ab initio. And I applied, and uh, you had to have a, like, you had to be five foot six in certain uh, uh, academic qualifications, and uh, a medical, and an interview, and, and I got in, and I felt I was so lucky. And then I did very much the same training as, as well, even though she, she wasn't had, had qualified uh, we trained not on tiger moss on magisters and um, learned about force landings and uh, how to get out of a spin and uh, then you went out to a, a pool and flew a bit of taxi work in the argus just a, a training aircraft then back again to the uh, the main school at team and uh, you converted on the Harvard, which was the first aircraft we'd handled with retractable undercarriage. And then, as Molly said, no twin-seater uh, spits in those days. You just got into the school spit in the corner and did a couple of circuits, and then you were fully qualified to fly all trainers and class one aircraft. And then, I thankfully, I was sent to Hamble, which was everyone's favorite pool. The other all-women's pool was at Cosford, right in amongst all the smog and the the factories and uh, like Molly very exciting times we went in the morning until the when the weather cleared for flying and the um, uh, operations uh, hatch was thrown open and they would hand out chitters and they knew we wanted to get as many types as possible they would say joy you haven't flown a, a mustang or a hurricane today would you like to try and, 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 uh, and so I did and uh, I did just get back in the spring of 45 to do my conversion onto light twins, as Molly was describing. You could fly the Oxford Ants, and then you were more useful doing taxi work, of course. But sadly, the war didn't last long. I was very wicked. I never wanted it to end. I was enjoying it so much. I have paid them to let me do it, and they paid me. So I never got on to fast twins as Molly did. I would love to have flown a mosquito because I think apart from the Spitfire, which was everyone's favourite single-seater, um, the Mosquito was the favourite of the girl, most of the girls, wasn't it? Well, it of the was. twins, yes, yes of was. the twins. But so I never flew fast twins, and only about a dozen or so girls ever got into multi-engine, flew the, um, 
uh, the Lancaster, the Lancaster and, the, yeah, yeah. and the Spitfire, yes. Wow. But there, that, that, was, uh, that was our war. This programme was a Focus Biz podcast on behalf of Flight of the Past Limited. 